In this video, we'll be explaining all of Sukuna's forms in Jujutsu Kaisen. We'll start with his original form from 1,000 years ago, and in the later parts of the video, we'll be covering some of his more recent godly forms. Ryomen Sukuna is the strongest Jujutsu sorcerer in history, regarded as the undisputed king of curses. Many Jujutsu sorcerers of the Golden Age gave their all against him, but ultimately fell one after another. Sukuna's past appearance is described as a demon with four arms and two faces. Although we don't know much about Sukuna's past life, we know that he was selfish, cold-hearted, immoral, and exceptionally sadistic. He was also well aware of his immense power and was quite arrogant about it, toying with his opponents and proclaiming superiority over them. Even after his death, Sukuna managed to keep on living by transforming himself into cursed objects, a state where he split his power into 20 indestructible fingers. One Finger Sukuna. During episode one, in order to gain strength and fight cursed spirits, Yuji swallowed one of Sukuna's fingers, therefore reviving Sukuna from his 1,000 years long sleep. As you can imagine, Sukuna couldn't have been more excited to be flesh and bones again. Although he didn't appear to be that strong and Gojo effortlessly defeated him, this form of Sukuna is not to be underestimated, as he still had all of his combat experience and understanding of cursed energy from when he was a human. Another important thing to mention is that Sukuna wasn't in full control of Yuji's body at this point, which also greatly limited his strength. Sukuna Malevolent Shrine. Only a few days later, Yuji ate another one of Sukuna's fingers. Although this made Sukuna much stronger, Yuji was still in perfect control of his body and didn't let Sukuna take over. However, during the battle at the detention center, Yuji had to allow Sukuna to take over since he wasn't strong enough to defeat the curse himself. This is where we saw the fragment of Sukuna's true power as he used his domain expansion for the first time, Malevolent Shrine. This domain grants Sukuna a guaranteed hit and the ability to relentlessly slash apart anything inside it until nothing remains. The thing that makes Malevolent Shrine different from other domains is that it doesn't create a separate space using a barrier. Instead, it affects the whole area around Sukuna. It's a truly divine technique, and using it, he effortlessly defeated the Finger Bearer, a special grade curse, slashing it into countless pieces. After defeating it, Sukuna also ate the third finger, making him even more powerful. Although Sukuna seems unstoppable at this point, next form on the list are infinitely times more powerful than this one. But before we get to those, I recently found something amazing that I just have to share with you guys. Factor 75. Picture this, you are at home checking out the new episode of JJK and you suddenly get really hungry. You now have two options. Spend two hours in the kitchen making a decent meal or just order some junk food and call it a day. Neither of these seem that appealing, right? Well, there's actually a third option, Factor 75, that will literally change your life. Their service allows you to order nutritious, high quality meals ready to eat in minutes. These meals will make sure you always have something healthy on hand so you can stay focused on what you love to do. Whether you are a vegan, vegetarian, or just want to eat more protein to build muscle, Factor has something for everyone, as you can choose between 27 plus different meal options each week. Click my link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen to order your Factor meal now. And if you enter my special code, you'll even get 50% off your first box. 15 Fingers Sukuna. During Shibuya Arc, Yuji was fed another finger by Geto's subordinates. This, along with the finger Yuji ate during the death painting arc, now puts him at five fingers in total. However, shortly after that, something crazy happens. Jogo appears carrying 10 additional fingers and feeds them all to Yuji at the same time. This now makes a total of 15 fingers, which was enough to make Sukuna take control of Yuji's body. Sukuna politely asks Ghetto's subordinates what they want him to do, saying they both get one finger's worth of his time. Naturally, they ask him to kill the fake Ghetto, but Sukuna just kills them both. Anyway, after that, we're treated to a full-scale fight between Sukuna and Jogo. And as you would expect, Sukuna completely overwhelms Jogo in every way possible. The poor guy didn't even try using his domain expansion as he knew Sukuna's domain would overwhelm his. At this point, Sukuna is just toying with Jogo and even starts using fire attacks in order to make it easier for him. However, Jogo is still overpowered. And just before he dies, Sukuna tells him that he had a lot of fun fighting him and that he should be proud. I mean, we all knew Sukuna would eventually win, but no one expected the difference in their power to be this big. At the end of the day, Jogo was the strongest special grade curse in Kenjaku's group. Following this fight, Sukuna realizes that Megumi has unleashed the strongest Shikigani from the Ten Shadows technique, Divine General Mahuraga. This guy is kinda a big deal, as nobody in the history of the Zenin clan has 
ever been able to defeat him. Although Sukuna now has the power of 15 fingers, Mahoraga's punch sends him flying across the whole city. You see, Mahoraga has the ability to quickly adapt to all attacks, making him pretty much immune to anything thrown at him. The only way to defeat him is to use a powerful new attack that he has never seen before and kill him before he has any time to react. This sounds impossible, right? Well, Sukuna does exactly that, instantly killing Mahoraga with a mysterious fire-based attack. So, during the span of a few chapters, Sukuna has been able to defeat the strongest special grade curse in Kenjaku's group and kill the strongest Shikigami that no one else in the history has been able to defeat? And he still has three forms stronger than this one? Sukuna? The 10 shadows, 10%. Okay, so you remember how during the first season, Yuji made a binding vow with Sukuna in exchange for bringing him back to life? The pact allows Sukuna to take full control of Yuji's body for one minute as long as he doesn't hurt anyone. Also, because of the exact conditions of the vow, Yuji forgot all about it. The reason I am mentioning this is because Sukuna used this vow to get even stronger than he was. You see, during the calling game, Megumi was devastated when he learned that his sister is now actually a reincarnated sorcerer named Yorozu. Sukuna takes advantage of this and activates the binding vow, gaining full control of Yuji's body for one minute. He uses this time to rip one of Yuji's fingers and force it down Megumi's throat. It's a gamble, but it works. He manages to transfer his consciousness into Megumi. Now, there's not much difference between this form and the previous form we covered, except for the fact that Sukuna can now use the 10 shadows technique. He immediately showcases his new techniques by spawning a massive demonic version of the new and attacks Maki and Takaba. However, while he is not paying attention, Hana sneaks up behind him and attacks him with her cursed technique, which burns Sukuna and causes his skin to tear. This is the part where Sukuna shows his cunningness as he starts talking to Hana in a pleasant voice, pretending to be Megumi and embraces her. It's enough to fool Hana, which gives Sukuna the chance to bite her and drop her on the ground. At this point, Sukuna realizes that he doesn't yet have full control over Megumi's body and that his cursed energy is restricted to only 10%. However, this doesn't bother him as he is confident that he can still defeat both Yuji and Maki even in this state. The two sorcerers proceed to attack Sukuna at the same time, but he handles them both very efficiently, keeping the fight at a stalemate. Before we cover Sukuna's strongest form in the entire story, let's quickly go over the 10 shadows Sukuna at 100%. After the fight with Maki and Yuji, Sukuna proceeds to take a bath set up for him by Yurame and Kenjaku, immersing himself in curses and other evils in order to completely submerge Megumi's soul, granting him stronger control of his body and curse energy. But even after this, Sukuna still isn't satisfied and decides to kill Yorozu, a sorcerer who is currently inhabiting the body of Megumi's sister. This makes Megumi's soul sink even deeper into despair, granting Sukuna full control of his body and cursed energy. Full Power Sukuna. After his fight with Yorozu, Sukuna and Gojo agree to a duel on December 24th. In the meantime, Sukuna eats four more fingers which were given to him by Yorame. This means that Sukuna now ate 19 fingers in total. However, one was still missing. In order to compensate for this, Sukuna eats his original mummified body from the Haiyan era, which finally puts him at 100% of his power. With this, he is finally ready to face Gojo. The fight is about as crazy as you'd expect, and the two of them go on to engage in several domain expansion battles. Using his full power, Sukuna is easily able to match Gojo's domain and even breaks it multiple times. This is the first time in the story any has been able to beat Gojo like this. But the battle is not over yet, and after some trial and error, Gojo figures out a way to break Sukuna's domain. He does this by shrinking his domain to the size of a basketball, which, in return, makes it much tougher and harder to break. However, this is Sukuna's strongest form we're talking about here, and after around three minutes, he manages to break Gojo's domain again and free himself. Although the battle seems balanced at this point, the important thing to mention is that Sukuna hasn't yet attempted to use his innate curse technique, which means he is still not using the full extent of his powers. Imagine being so strong that even against Gojo, you don't go all out. Now, you are probably wondering, how is Sukuna even able to physically attack Gojo? Shouldn't his infinity stop? 
stop all incoming attacks? In theory, yes, but Sukuna has an answer to this. You see, throughout their fight, Sukuna uses the ability called Domain Amplification, which makes an aura of cursed energy around him and can neutralize Gojo's infinity when he comes into contact with it. Sukuna also showcased his mastery over 10 Shadows technique by spawning General Mahoraga and even Agito, a fusion beast that consists of four different Shikigamis. If that's not enough, he was also shown capable of using blood manipulation, surprising even Chozo. In this form, Sukuna seems unstoppable. And the scariest thing is he still hasn't shown us his innate technique. Why has he been hiding his signature technique for so long? And how strong is it? Well, we'll have to wait a bit more until the show reveals exactly what it is, but it'll undoubtedly make Sukuna even stronger than he currently is, if you can imagine that. Click on this video where we explained all of Gojo's forms in Jujutsu Kaisen. Go on, click it.